You can now backtest your strategies on TradeZello. Yes, you can go back in time, select any instrument that you want, and you can try out any strategies, buy, sell, and just kind of see how that strategy works or how that particular ticker trades within a certain market. This is one of the best ways for you to advance your skills as a trader. And in this video, I want to break down how to use this feature within TradeZello. So if you guys look on the left side of your panel, you should see the backtesting feature, which is right here, right? When you click the backtesting feature, you should be able to create your very first backtesting session, which we're going to do right now together. So once you create backtesting session, we're going to come and we're going to give it a name. Let's just say we call it opening range test, right? We want to test the first 15 minutes of each session, okay? Then we can connect it to a playbook, meaning we can connect it to a strategy. If you don't have a strategy or playbook created, you can go to create new playbook and you can set it up right there. Now for this particular one, I already have my playbook set up. So I'm going to call this the opening drive setup. And you know, if you do go to your playbook right here on the left side panel, you guys can see all of the playbooks that are present that are available all pop up here and you can obviously give it different views as well, right? Here you can select Forex, stocks, crypto, whatever you know you want to select. If you want to select indices, they are also down here. So for this particular example, I'm going to go to US 30 and I'm going to select the balance of one hundred thousand dollars. Right. Select date range. Uh, I'm going to start from December 5th till let's say January 25th. Right. Once I do that, I can now create a session. Once that session is created, it will take me to Tuesday, December 5th, 2023, 12 a.m. is where it will start for now. And then from here, I can kind of get as creative as I want with my screen, right? I have an order panel, advanced order, simple order. Uh, I can play, pause, select different time periods. If I want to select different time periods, if I want to fast forward to a particular date, I can go here. I want to fast forward to a particular time. Let's just say I go to 9.30 a.m. before the market opens. Once I do that, it will take me to 9.30 a.m. So we are currently at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time for December 5th. Now, the cool part is, you know, I can once again adjust to different time periods. And here I can select how I want the candle to formulate. So if I select one minute, I can hit play. And now what will happen is every one minute candle will show up here. Right. And you can see now we're at 932. If I want to fast forward this, right, I can go here and I can fast forward it. Right. If I want to make this, you know, be a one second candle, I can do that on the one second time period and it'll start playing the one second in a one second time period as fast and as slow as I would like it to play. Right. If I want to do a five minute, I can go to five minutes and it's going to formulate based on however I set it up every five minutes. Now, the cool part is if I go to five minutes time period or time frame, right? I'm on the five minute time frame right now. Now I can make it play minute by minute. So if I go here, let's say I just keep it at one X every minute. It's going to formulate one of the five minute candles or I can make it say, you know what? I want it to formulate a five minute candle. If I had five minutes now, every candle it'll formulate, it'll go five minutes, five minutes, and it'll formulate the full candle. So this can sync with that, depending on, you know, however you want it. Most of the time I'll keep it synced. If I don't want to keep it synced, I can adjust that as well. And then I have the speed. If I want to move a candle forward and I have the five minute setup and I hit next, it will move one five minute candle forward. If I want to move back, I can move it back. So once again, this allows me to just get creative. And as I get a little bit creative here, I can kind of go with whatever, you know, time frame I want. So once again, I'm going to keep the five minute five minute. I'm at 940. Now, the cool part about here is I can set up whatever orders I want. So for example, let's just say I go here and I'm like, you know what? I want to risk 1%. I want to risk 2% of my current balance. And once again, my balance on this account is 100,000, which I selected. It'll risk $2,000 and it'll give me that position size based on my risk component, right? Risk 1%, 2%, 0.5%. Let's just say I want to risk 0.5%, which will be 500 US dollars based on my current balance. It'll tell me what that position size looks like. Then I can go, I can select, you know, I want to buy at market. 
I want to buy a limit. If I want to buy a limit, what price do I want to buy at? What price do I want to sell at? And then from here, I can select my target. So let's just say I don't want to plug it in. I want to go to long position or short position. I can go here and I can use this tool and I can say, you know what? Matter of fact, let's go to a short position. I want to short right there, right? And I want to put my stop right there. Now, when I do that, my stop right here will basically get filled in. My profit target will basically get filled in and my entry price will basically get filled in as well. So all of these will get filled in. And now if I say sell, my order goes through. My order will showcase right here. And as I play, let's just say I go to the one minute chart. And as I play, right, depending on, you know, obviously the limit order didn't hit. Once the limit order hit, now it'll tell me limit order is executed. I have, you know, a size in this. This is how much I'm currently up in this current position. And as I keep playing, it'll keep going until it hits my profit target or it hits my stop loss. And if I want to remove this, obviously I can, and it'll show me where my trades are. And the cool part about this is if I want to move my profit target or my stop loss, I can do it by just dragging this up or dragging this down, right? Whatever I want to do, and it will update automatically. So let's just say I keep playing this. Right. And then let's say as I keep going, it's showing me my adjusted PL. Wow, it keep it keeps getting closer and closer to my stop, but it isn't stopping me out. Okay, there you go. There's a stop. So I'm stopped out. Once I'm stopped out, it will tell me where I stopped that out. Stop loss order is executed. Right now I lost $242 in that particular trade. Right now, let's say I want to take another trade for you know whatever reason. I may go here and I'm like, you know what? Let me take another trade. Or I can say, you know what? We're already at Tuesday, December 5th, 3.38 p.m. I want to go to the next day open. I want to go to a particular date. Instead of me just fast forwarding this, because I'm trading the open or start of New York session, next day open, whatever you know I have set up, I will go on here and I will set this up as next day open, save. And then I will go here as start next day open. It will automatically take me to Wednesday, December 6th, 9.30 a.m. And now I'm there. Now, same exact thing. Now, when I go here, I can start seeing the session and I can say, you know what? I want to take a short position here again or a long position, whatever it may be. Let's just say for argument's sake, I just take a long position with a stop right there, profit target right there, put in the advanced order, risk 1%, right? I move this up and down. Once this is in, I hit buy, right? Order gets created. I'm currently in. That's my profit target. That's my stop loss. And I'm just going to see how and where this kind of gets adjusted. Right? So when it goes there, you guys can see I got stopped out. Now I'm wrong two times on this session. So it's allowing me to kind of go back in time and take these trades. Now, the cool part is once this is done, right, you know, you can see all the trades. Once this is done, I can always go back to some of my sessions, such as this session right now, and I can see the stats for this session. So let's just go here, right? 0% win, win percentage, realized PL, trade count. Now, this is not it. You can go in and you can hit go to dashboard and you can see all of the stats for this particular session. So when I go to this particular session, I can see this day I lost $242, this day I lost $215, I took one trade, one trade, and obviously I can filter through whatever uh, setups I have, I can filter through whatever sessions I have, right? So this was this session, the opening range test session. If I have multiple sessions, I can filter through them. Uh, and then I can just, I can use it just the way I use my trade Zello journal. I can take notes for that particular day. Uh, I can put in notes, I can put comments, I can, you know, tag the trades. If I go to this particular trade, if I wanna, you know, tag the trade, I wanna put my points across, whatever the case may be for that particular trade, I can do that. If I wanna replay that trade, I can replay it as well. If I wanna take notes on it, I can as well. Uh, whatever it may be that I wanna do, I'm able to do within 
my trade seller journal. So that's a cool part about backtesting on here because you get not just a backtesting tool, you get to look at all of your deep analytics, all your deep stats. So if I do go here, I can see my drawdown on $457 drawdown. So I'm able to get all of those stats for that session. And it'll also tell me how much of the session is completed. I still have a long way to go. That was my start balance. That's where I'm at currently. If I want to have a different view, I can. Now, if I want to create a new session, I can also create another session and I can have multiple sessions. New session, test, description 101, connect to a playbook, midday reversal, stocks, crypto, if I want to go to crypto, if I want to go to stocks, let's just say I set up, I don't know, let's just go to PLTR, start balance, $50,000. Select date, boom, boom. Same exact thing, I can do that as well. I can select the time, I can select the date, I can basically go to whatever time period I may wanna to go to just to give myself that context to understand what is happening. And like I said, you guys can alternate between stocks, futures, uh, Forex, crypto, everything that is essentially going to be coming out with futures as well. And just test as many strategies as you want, test as, have as many sessions as you want, and just kind of use this as a place to, you know, get better at trading, use this as a place to understand sessions better. And if you wanna play again, continue your session, you can go, you'll have your old trades loaded, you'll continue from the same exact date, same exact time, and you'll be able to continue these sessions, right? Uh, we are going to be coming up with a lot more features on here. Uh, you know, you can see open, close, all your orders. You can lower this if you want. Uh, we have a calendar as well. Uh, we're going to add more ways to put on trades, more ways to put on orders, more indicators, and things like that. But the whole idea of this feature is for you to go back in time and just get better with your strategies, get better with getting familiar with names and just ultimately become a better trader. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy this feature and thank you for tuning in.